Hi, it's David from The Good Life Journey and here are 10 Stoic insights in the form of quotes from Seneca for leading a good and meaningful life. These are extracted from the book Letters from a Stoic, which I highly recommend you to read. Number one, you ask what is the proper limit to wealth? First, having what is essential and second, having what is enough. It's not the person who has too little who is poor, but the one who is always chasing after more. If our focus in life is to gather riches and possessions, we'll never be truly satisfied in life. Instead, we'll find ourselves looking over our shoulders to those who have less, or comparing ourselves or chasing after those who have more. It's a never-ending story, it's a battle that cannot be won. Seneca recommends instead to focus on being grateful with what you already have. Number two, whatever is true is my property. Here we are reminded that we should be open to the ideas of others and not to close ourselves into our own thinking or to those of our close circle. To lead a good life, we should always be loyal to what is true. Number three, choose yourself a Cato. Choose yourself someone whose way of life as well as words have won your approval. For Seneca and other ancient Romans, Cato exemplified a person of unwavering moral rectitude in his application of Stoic principles. Cato was seen to embody the virtues of courage, integrity, and resilience. Seneca recommends that we go about our day keeping our role model constantly before our eyes, and that we live our life as if he or she were watching out for every one of our moves. And so it's important to give a little bit of thought to who your role model is. Who is your Cato? Number four, indulge the body just so far as suffices for good health. It needs to be treated somewhat strictly to prevent it from being disobedient to the spirit. Ancient Stoics emphasized discipline to make sure your body and impulses don't get in the way of doing what is right. If your body isn't disciplined and indulges too much, it can lead to distractions and weaken your self-control. You may therefore be, not be in a good position to doing what is right. Number five, say goodbye at last to those deceptive prizes that are more precious to those who hope for them than to those who have already won them. In line with other Stoics, Seneca thought that the active pursuit of wealth and fame was a fool's errand. We will never feel contentment and it will always leave us reaching out for more. As Seneca writes, these pursuits simply aggravate the thirst of those who swallow them. Number six, death is just not being. What that is like I know already. It will be the same after me as it was before me. Seneca says that someone would be a fool to think a candle was in a worse position when it was turned off than before it was lit. Although we suffer a bit in the intervening period, our lives, we should take comfort that at either end of our existence, we will find only deep tranquility. And before jumping into number seven, I want to take the next 10 seconds to thank you for your support so far. In only a few months, this channel has reached its first 1000 views. So if you enjoyed the content of today's video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel where we treat and discuss topics related to personal finance and happiness. Number seven, live as if we were in public view. We should adopt a mindset of integrity in both our actions and thoughts. Seneca advises that we should live and think as if someone could glance into the depths of our heart. This will encourage us to develop a strong sense of morality and accountability. Number eight, nothing is better proof of a well-ordered mind than a man's ability to stop just where he is and pass some time in his own company. Here Seneca is saying that if you're okay with spending some time alone with your thoughts, it means that your mind is in a good place. It means you're comfortable with yourself and you don't always have to seek out external input in your pursuit for contentment and tranquility. Number nine, life is the gift of the immortal gods, but living well is the gift of philosophy. Life itself is a gift, but knowing how to live well, being wise and making good choices isn't something that we're naturally born with. It's something that we have to work for, something that comes from philosophy. Real richness and fulfillment come from seeking wisdom and living according to it. Philosophy helps us figure out how to live a good and peaceful life by guiding us through life's challenges and helping us become better people. Number 10, how can you wonder your travels do you no good when you carry yourself around with you? Here, Seneca is actually quoting Socrates. Seneca argues that what we need is a change of character, not a change of air, not a change of location. Ultimately, we cannot expect external circumstances to solve our internal problems. All right, we made it to the end. If you enjoyed today's video and Seneca's nuggets of wisdom, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel for more content on personal finance and happiness. Until then, take care and see you in the next video.